Hi, here's a quick video for you to show you how to go about putting your photo and your metadata into your Google site that you've created for your photography portfolio. So uh, first off, I have, uh, I'm on my composition page here and I have already put in this template. You can just drag it in. I've used this content block right here, which gives you a nice spot for an image, a title and a bit of data. And I've just copied and pasted that data that you need uh, in this area here. I want to show you one thing about the photo. So when you bring a photo in, if you do any resizing on that photo, you see it, it lets me cut it off. I can do all kinds of strange things to it in order to make it, I don't know, it, just a different shape. I can make it wider and it's cutting it off. And so if you use this button that is right here, this is your uncrop button. And what that'll do is it'll make sure that it keeps it proportional. So as you drag, if you're dragging from the sides, you're often going to fall into that problem because it's now not proportional to the original anymore. But if I click that button, it just resizes it the way that it uh, should be, where it doesn't cut any information off. So now, where do I find the date, the aperture, shutter speed, etc., to be able to type that stuff in here? Well, I am using Bridge. And so here is that particular photo right there. That is my original. And when you're on the original, all of this metadata is over here. And so you can see that there's a whole ton of stuff. If I am on my low resolution, you'll notice that a lot of that uh, metadata is stripped out of it. So your low res, your high res, whenever you save those out in a different format, uh, Bridge or uh, Photoshop often will strip that data out. So you need to be on your original. Now, here's where you can find your information. Your date created is right here. And that date created, you can actually just take that and copy that and then go over to your website and just paste that in there. Okay. And then when I go back to bridge, your aperture is F slash whatever the number is. So mine is F slash 4.5. Please include the F slash. That's the F stop. That's how we refer to the aperture. This number here is the shutter speed. So my shutter went off at 1 60th of a second, 1 over 60. This is my ISO. So my ISO was set to 100 for this particular uh, photograph. It will also tell you if you scroll down a little ways on your file properties, you can get into your camera data. And so you'll notice here that my camera data, it tells me, sorry, it tells me a whole bunch of information. There's my lens that I had on there. So you can see this was just the kit lens on that camera. And here was my focal length. So it shows you how far was I zoomed in. And so I was zoomed in 35 millimeters on that you can see there's a whole ton of information on here as to what um, the maximum aperture was, that the flash didn't go off, what kind of metering I used, my white balance, my model of my camera, even my serial number and my lens serial number of the camera. So this is also useful data if your camera would ever be lost or stolen you can uh, certainly see by comparing it to other metadata what your serial number is. So go ahead and put all of that metadata in for each of the photographs that you're handing in to me. You should have a total of 10 photographs on this website page for composition. When you are finished, make sure you publish your website and that you have shared it with me with viewing permissions so that I can go in and mark it for you.